With Iran reportedly instructing its proxies in Iraq to pause strikes on U.S. forces, its proxy in Yemen continues to operate in full force. A Greek-flagged U.S.-owned cargo ship came under two missile attacks in a span of two hours off the coast of southern Yemen on Monday. The strikes come hours after a Houthi missile strike damaged a Belize-flagged British-owned ship sailing off the Gulf of Aden, forcing the crew to abandon ship. The naval forces of the Yemeni armed forces carried out a qualitative military operation targeting a British ship, Rubimar, in the Gulf of Aden with a number of suitable naval missiles. The ship was severely hit and is now at risk of sinking. In a separate incident, the Houthis claimed they shot down an American MQ-9 Reaper drone, something not immediately acknowledged by U.S. forces. But those affected by repeated attacks by the Iranian proxy in the Red Sea are not limited to Israel, the British, and Americans. The attacked British ship had been on its way to Bulgaria after leaving the United Arab Emirates. And the damages have been more dramatic to some than others. Look at the situation today in the Suez Canal. It used to bring Egypt approximately $10 billion in annual revenue. This has declined by a rate of between 40% to 50%. Meanwhile, in Brussels, the EU announced its plan to launch its own special naval mission to the Red Sea. It's not just European ships that are repeatedly jeopardized by Houthi missiles in the Red Sea, but the entire international shipping industry, ships from Asia, ships from Africa, and it also affects the Gulf states in particular because their harbors can no longer be used. That's why it's important for us, the European Union, to make a contribution to the protection of civilian shipping in the Red Sea with the Apsides mission, which we are finalizing here today. But that might not be enough to deter the Houthis. The U.S. military's deputy commander in the Middle East said the Houthis are the first entity in history to ever use anti-ship ballistic missiles. And in the meantime, Iran continues to supply its Yemen proxy with sophisticated, advanced weapons to attack ships in the Red Sea.